Hi everyone. So in this session, we will be learning about different types of order. Okay. So we will be studying five types of order. First will be market order, limit order, stop order, cover order, and bracket order. So the first one is very basic. That is market order. So if you want to buy a stock and if you're placing a market order, no matter what price the stock is right now, you, your order will be filled. Okay. This is a very basic type of order. Let's start with the second type of order. That is limit order. Now, limit order might be a little confusing. Not only limit order, all the four types of order will be a little confusing. So I want you to pay attention. Okay. So let's say, you know, that you have a stock at 100. Okay. You have bought a stock. So you have bought a stock at 100. Okay. And if you want to make profit, you have to sell it at a higher price. Okay. So let's say, you know, you want a profit of five. So you're selling it at 105. If you sell it at lower price at 95, then it will be a loss, right? So you want to sell at 105 to make a profit. So it means you can place a limit order at this. Okay. So you can place a limit sell order. Okay. At 105. So what we understood whenever we are selling something, it should always be above the market price. Okay, this is one very golden statement that you should understand that if you're placing a limit order, it should, and if it's a sell order, it should always be above the market price. But what if you have sold a stock? Okay, let's say you have sold a stock at 100. Okay. So you want to buy it back. If you want to buy it back, you have to buy it back at a lower price. You're selling it at a higher price. You're buying it back at a lower price. Only then you will make a profit. Right. So what we will do, we will sell the stock. So let's sell it at, let's say 95, 95, not sell, sorry, it will be buy, right? So I'll write buy. So what will we call this order? We will call it limit buy order. Okay. So the second thumb rule will be if you are buying a stock and if it's a buy, it's, if it's a limit buy order, it should always be below the market price. If the market is at hundred, then you can only place the limit order limit buy order and below the market price. Okay. So to sell a limit order, you have to, you need to uh, place it above the market price. If you want to buy the stock, you have to place below the market price. So this is how the limit order works. Let's move to the next type of order. That is stop order. Now, remember that the speciality of the limit order is that it will always give you the price that you have mentioned or a better price. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Let's say, you know, that you have placed a buy order at 95. So it is going to give your stock either at 95 or any price below the 95. So which will be good for you. And if you are selling the stock, then it will give you either at 105 or better than 105. It will be 106, 107, whatever it is. So this is how limit order works, but stop order works a little differently. Okay. Stop order is was made to protect yourself. Okay. A limit order was to, was uh, built to make profit and stop order was to protect ourselves. Now you might think, why do you want to protect? Okay. So let me explain you. Let's say, you know, you have bought a stock. Okay. So I'll write, I have a stock buy at hundred. Okay. Now I know, you know, if I, if it reaches 105, I'm going to make profit. Okay. But I want to know how much I'm ready to lose. Okay. So I'm saying that I'm ready to lose up to five rupee. So if the price is a hundred, the maximum I can lose is five. It means if the stock price reaches 95 below that, I don't want to go. Okay. That's the maximum I can reach. Okay. So this is where we will be using the stop order. So I want to, so I bought a stock at hundred and I want to sell it at how much I want to sell it at 95. Why I'm selling this? I'm not selling it to make profit. I'm selling this to protect myself. So we will call it as stop sell order. Okay. So we are using, we are doing stop sell order at 95 and this will only be triggered if the price reaches to 95. Now what will happen if the price reaches to 95? This stop sell order will be converted into a market order. And the moment it is converted into a market order, it will be filled instantly. Okay. This is how you sell a stock when it comes to stop order. Okay. So let's say, you know, you're not, you have not bought the stock, but you have sold the stock. Okay. So let me write it here. 
you have sold at 100. Okay. So you know that if you have sold at 100, you want the price to be lower. You want to buy it back at, uh, you want to buy it back at uh, 95. Okay. Then only you will make profit. But how much are you ready to lose? So you are saying that I can lose up to 5 rupees. So the maximum that you are ready that the stock should go should be 105. Okay. So this is where we will be placing another order. Okay. The order will be at 105. Why 105? It will be what? It will be buy. Okay. Why we are placing order at 105? To limit our losses. Okay. Because as the price moves up, I'm going to lose more and more. So this order will be called stop buy order. So what do we understood from the stop order? We understood that if you want to buy a stock, you can always place a stop order above the market price. If you want to sell the stock, you can place a stop order below the market price, which is different as compared to what we have seen in our limit order. Okay. This was for stop order. But what is for limit order? Limit order is if you want to buy a stock, it should be below the market price. If you want to sell the stock, it should be above the market price. And for stop order, what it is, if you want to buy the stock, it should be above the market price. If you want to sell the stock, stock, it should be below the market price. So all these four points are very important until and unless you understand these things, you won't be able to implement anything in the future session. So just, uh, just sit down and try to understand what exactly is happening here if you don't understand. So these are the very basic, very important, the most important two types of order. Then we have two more advanced type of order. So the third one is called as cover order. Okay. Now what is cover order? Cover order is let's say you have bought a stock and you want to lim you, you want to provide your maximum loss. That is you are having two order. One is a normal order. Okay. Let's say you have bought the stock. So this can be anything, you know, let's say it's a market order market. You have bought at hundred. Along with this order, you will be having another order that will be, let's say 95. Okay. This will be a stop loss order. Okay. So in this type of order, you will be having maximum gain. Okay. Because you, you can have as many lim as many, as much profit as you want, and you have limited your loss. The maximum loss that you can face is 95. So the moment the stock reaches 95, the stop loss will be converted into market. And at that point, whatever the market price is, that will be executed. So if this is a buy, if I have bought the stock, this will be what? This will be a sell. Okay. At 95, it is going to sell the stock. So this was about cover order. So now let's study about the last type of order. That is bracket order, BO. Bracket order. Now in, in our cover order, we only had a normal order and a stop loss order. In bracket order, we have three types of order. Okay. One is normal order and one is stop loss order and one is take profit order. So let's say you have bought the stock at 105. Okay. So you will be having another order, which will be, so you have bought it at 105. So you will be having a take profit at 110. Okay. And you will be having a stop loss at hundred. Okay. This is stop loss to protect you. And this is to take profit, take profit. Now the speciality of this order is all three of them are connected. The moment your order is filled for 90, 105, both the order will be activated. Okay. So if this is buy, okay, this will be sell and this will also be sell. Okay. And both of this will be connected with each other. The moment any one of the order is triggered. Let's say, you know, if take profit is triggered and if take profit is failed, then stop loss will automatically be uh, canceled. If stop loss is triggered and if stop loss is failed, then your take profit will be canceled. Okay. This is the speciality of this advanced type of order that is bracket order. 